Oh, what is up, my beautiful mangoes? My name is the Iron Mango, and uh, today I am bringing you guys another brand new Five Nights at Freddy's 4 theory slash speculation video on my channel. So essentially, in today's video, I'm going to be going over a cool theory that I do have about the game and how I actually believe that the brand new Game Theory video that literally just came out is actually completely wrong. Game Theory literally did just release a brand new video, and they titled it... Five Nights at Freddy's 4 got it all wrong. MatPat talks about in the video how Scott Coffin didn't do his research well enough and how he actually missed some uh, key aspects to how we could actually have nightmares in the game and other cool stuff like that. Essentially, if you guys haven't checked out the original video, I'll have a link down below in the description. It's an awesome, awesome video. MatPat does a lot of good research, a lot of good editing in that video as well. I do love all the game theory videos and it is a very well done video. Not gonna lie, guys, it's a very entertaining video as well, but MatPat did miss one crucial detail. Five Nights at Freddy's 4 did not get it all wrong. MatPat himself and the game theorists, they got it all wrong. So essentially, MatPat does talk about how we actually play as the Bite of 87 victim in the games and how we're actually just having nightmares or like we're in like a coma or something like that. And we're just having dreams about all the different nights that we actually do play as in the actual games. I'm going to tell you guys right now that we actually do not play as the Bite of 87 victim. I'm not sure who we actually play as in the game. There's a couple of uh, different possibilities about who we can play as, but we actually do not play as the same character that we actually play as in the mini games. Now there's some speculation that there was a bite of 83 as well as a bite of 87, but let's just say for the purposes of today's video that the, the, the bite that we actually see at the end of night five is actually the bite of 87 when we go into uh, Fredbear's mouth. I know the, like, all the spoil warnings and stuff like that, but I'm pretty sure you guys have already seen that by now if you are watching today's video. I've done a lot of videos covering how I think there could be a bite of 83 as well as a bite of 87, or maybe there was just a bite of 87. But essentially the character that we actually play as in the different nights is not the same character that we play as in the mini games. I'm going to go into a little bit more detail about that in a future video. I think I have a video coming out tomorrow that I recorded with Zombie Wars a couple of days ago. I think it's scheduled to come out tomorrow. So if we sure to check out that video tomorrow where we do cover who we actually think you actually play as in this game. But for the purposes of today's video, I want to tell you guys why Game Theory actually got their theory wrong. If you guys do remember in the mini games, or at least in the cutscenes, we're actually in our room in the mini games. We only have one door in our room. It's only in the, in the northern part of the room or the northern part of the screen, like the top part of the screen. We only only see one door in the mini games unlike the actual nights where there actually are two doors in every single one of the nights every single night there's two doors on both sides there's a closet in front of you and there's a bed behind you in your room there's only one door there's no closet and there's actually a Fredbear plush doll on your bed while in the actual game in the different nights there's a Freddy plush doll on your bed so I don't believe this is actually the same person that we're actually playing as in the mini games as we actually play as in the nights there is also a Foxy plush doll in the closet which does have its head on it and then the Foxy in the uh, in the mini games actually has no head because the brothers assume to have stolen the head I guess you could say but I think that's enough proof to make us believe that we're actually in a different house or maybe not a different house but at least a different room than the same room that we actually play as in the mini game so I think that's enough proof to say that we're actually playing as a different character in the nights than we actually play as in the mini game Scott Coffin himself even said on MatPat's video on the brand new game theory video he said it was a good video MatPat I always enjoy them unfortunately as your more clever viewers are pointing out in the comments below you overlooked a crucial detail in the game winky face I'll be looking forward to your next theory and that my fellow mangoes is actually the crucial detail that I believe Matt Pat missed he missed that we're actually playing in a different house or at least a different room I know there's some possibilities and there's some speculation about how we're actually playing as the brother of the night of 87 victim and that he has to like cope with all the guilt of killing his own brother and that after night six there's like the the nightmare animatronic actually appears and we talk about how the nightmare animatronic could actually be the bite of 87 victim in the brother's consciousness in his hallucinations he's hallucinating his brother coming back to haunt him that's why there's like a brain that's why there's blood on the uh, on the on the, the nightmare animatronic and there's like a spinal cord and other human-like aspects to that animatronic I don't know guys if we're playing as the brother we could be playing as the brother we could be playing as someone else entirely I'm not sure exactly guys you guys let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section another key aspect is that the hallways in the house in the mini games look completely different from the hallways in the actual uh, in the actual nights that we actually play in so I do not believe it's the same house or if it is the same house it's another part of the house it's another room in the house and there's also the plush trap room in the house and maybe that's on another floor of the house maybe it's another house entirely as well we're not too sure about the plush trap detail either but I think we can pretty much confirm guys that we do not play as the same player in both the mini games as well as the nights we're playing as a different player and the mini games are all just flash 
flashbacks in the Five Nights at Freddy's 4 game. But you guys let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. This is all just my theory. I have a little bit of a more in-depth video coming out tomorrow with Zombie Wars SMT, where we go more in-depth about this actual theory. We talk more about some details that you guys might have missed in the game. We've been doing a lot of research, me and Zombie. We've been uh, talking a lot about these cool theories. So we have a lot of cool theories coming out, you guys, very, very soon in the future. But if you guys did enjoy today's video, if you did, definitely sure to slap that they get a like button. Let's try to go for 100 likes on today's video. That would make Marco better, better dudes. And also be sure to hit that little red button that says subscribe. If you guys haven't already, I do post 3 to 10 new videos every single day on my channel. But other than that, I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. And I hope you guys have a nice, safe, wonderful day.